Welcome to McNulty's Book Corral. I want to bring to your attention today two compilations from DC Comics. I've done episodes on Superman before. Um, I am a Superman collector. I think I've made that clear. I have quite a wonderful collection. I'm quite proud of my, uh, my big blue collection, as I call it. So what DC Comics has been doing for a couple of years now, as I mentioned in, uh, I think, other episodes, is they've been putting out these these compilations. So this is one of the latest, which is Superman in the 50s, which reprints the, the some of the classic tales with some of the covers. This one has some of the covers and a variety of artwork, artwork by mainly Wayne Boring in here. I think Al Plastino is included and so forth. Uh, really great little collection of 1950s Superman stuff. Here's the back cover. There's also a couple of Superboy stories in here, Supergirl and the, and the great Superman family, all of which no longer exist because of the poor editorial choices of those foolish executives at DC Comics over the years. Uh, however, they are doing some things right currently, and they're reprinting the stuff that worked. Superman in the 50s. This is a great little trade paperback to get. Highly recommended. They've also recently republished in hardcover Kryptonite Nevermore, which was with the cover by Neil Adams and the interior artwork by... Kurt Swan, Murphy Anderson, and Dick Giordano. And uh, this has been reprinted multiple times in the past. This is a particularly nice addition. It's always nice to see Kurt Swan's artwork uh, on display. And the late, great Kurt Swan, of course, was the one who... He really embodied Superman with his artwork. He was the best Superman artist. And Neil Adams has, in my opinion, always been the best Superman cover artist. Uh, Neil Adams has done so much wonderful work. Uh, so I'm a big fan of both. So this is a good collection. It's a hardcover, so it doesn't have anything special about the about the boards, except there is a the Superman emblem is kind of uh, embedded in the in the board here, but you can't really see it because they chose to put it out in black, which wasn't a wise choice. Other than that, it's a good sturdy collection and reprints these 19 early 1970s the kryptonite nevermore by denny o'neill by the way was the author that wrote that um this was his best contribution to superman i think he did a few other things he, he's primarily rem remembered for his work on batman during the same period i met denny o'neill a couple of times way way back at conventions he was always very kind um i don't pretend that i knew him well at all i, I just spoke to him briefly a couple of times at conventions back in back in the uh late 70s and through the uh, through the 80s the comic conventions were fun to go to because you could just walk up to people and talk to them now you have to you know you have to go through uh fingerprinting and uh fork over hundreds of dollars to speak with anybody so therefore they're no longer really fun um but they used to be and that's how i got to meet some of these people who were doing these comics during this period so I'm recommending these two Superman books today for you Superman collectors out there, recently published by DC Comics. This is the best thing they're doing right now, frankly, is they're reprinting their classic material. I hope you enjoy finding these. They're easy to find on Amazon. Stay well, stay happy, feed your brain, read a book.